Hello children, welcome to Math Park. Let us solve exercise 23B of trigonometrical ratios of standard angles, class 9 ICC concise Selena. So after going through the video, if you like it, please share with your friends. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. So we start with the first question. Given A is equal to 60 and B is equal to 30, prove that sin A plus B is equal to cos sin A cos B cos A plus cos A plus sin B. So we start with the first question. We take LHS. So left hand side is sin A plus B. So we will be putting the values of A now. Sin A plus B that is 60 plus B it is 30. And this is sin 60 plus 30 sin 90 which is equal to 1. Now let us solve the RHS of this question. So RHS you have sin A cos B. So sin A that is sin 60 and cos b so cos 30 sin 60 cos 30 plus cos a sin b so it is cos uh, 60 and sin 30 we put the values of this now so sin 60 is root 3 by 2 and cos 30 is root 3 by 2 plus cos 60 is half and sin 30 is Again half. So root 3 times root 3 is 3. And 2 times 2 is 4. So 3 by 4. 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 4. And 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is 1. So thus we get LHS is equal to RHS. And we are done with the first part. Let us move on to the second part of this question. Cos A plus B. So let us take LHS of this. Which is cos A plus B. So cos A that is cos of 60 plus B that is cos of 30. So we get this is cos 90 and cos 90 is equal to 0. Let us start the RHS of this question. So RHS we have cos A cos B. So cos A that is cos 60 cos B that is cos 30 minus sin A sin B. So sin 60 sin 30. So cos, cos 60 is 1 by 2, cos 30 is root 3 by 2 and sin 60 is root 3 by 2 and sin 30 is 1 by 2. So this is root 3 by 4 minus root 3 by 4 and which is equal to 0 and that is how we get LHS is equal to RHS. Both we got 0 and hence prove the second part also. Let's start with the third part. Cos A minus B is equal to cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. So third part, let us start. Let us take the LHS of the third part. It is cos A minus B. So value of A is 60. So 60 minus value of B is 30. 60 minus 30 is 30. So we get cos 30 and cos 30 is root 3 by 2. Let us take RHS of this. So RHS we have cos A cos B. Cos A cos B. So cos of 60 into cos of 30 min plus sin A sin B. So sin of 60 into sin of 30. Sin 60 into sin 30. Let us put the values. Cos 60 is half. Cos 30 is root 3 by 2. Plus sin 60 is root 3 by 2. And sin 30 is half. Sin 30 is half. So where we get this as root 3 by 4 plus root 3 by 4. So which is 2 root 3 by 4. Simplify 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4 which is root 3 by 2. And this is how we get LHS is equal to RHS. So LHS is equal to RHS. We are done with the third part. Let us start with the fourth one. Tan A minus B. Let us take LHS of this. So tan of A minus B. Tan A is 60. B is 30. Uh, so tan. This becomes 60 minus 30 is tan 30. And tan 30 is 1 upon root 3. Let us start with the RHS of this question. So RHS we have tan A minus tan B. That is tan of 60 minus tan of 30 divided by 1 plus tan A tan B. That is 1 plus tan 60 into tan 30. Let us put the values here. Tan 60 is root 3 and tan 30 is 1 upon root 3. Upon 1 plus root 3 
So tan 60 is root 3 and tan 30 is 1 by root 3. So this gets root 3 and root 3 get cancelled. We get denominator 2. Let us take the LCM root 3 times root 3 is 3 minus 1 upon root 3. And denominator we have 1 plus 1 that is 2. Okay. Okay. So root 3, mi 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 upon root 3 divided by 2. So divided by 2. So, this becomes 2 upon root 3 into 1 by 2. This 2 and 2 got cancelled. We got 1 upon root 3. And this is how you get LHS is equal to RHS. So, thus we get LHS is equal to RHS. And thus we have done with question number 1. Let us move on to question number 2. If A is equal to 30, then prove that. Sin 2A is equal to 2 sin A cos A. So, there are 3 parts which are to be proved equal now. So, let us start with this question sin 2a here. So, let us take sin 2a first. So, we have sin 2a is equal to sin 2 times 30 which is sin 60 and that is equal to root 3 by 2. Then let us take 2 sin a cos a. So, we have 2 sin a cos a. Put the value of a. So, 2 sin 30 cos 30. So, sin 30 is half so 2 into 1 by 2 into cos 30 is root 3 by 2 so this we get root 3 by 2 this 2 and 2 got cancelled let us take the third part so we have 2 tan a we have 2 tan a upon 1 plus tan square a so put the values again 2 tan of 30 upon 1 plus tan square 30 let us put the values tan 30 is 1 upon root 3 upon 2 plus since it is 1 upon root 3 square this is going to be 1 by 3 now root 1 upon root 3 square is going to be 1 by 3 so let us rationalize the numerator so we'll be multiplying by root 3 dividing by root 3 here so this we get it as 2 root 3 upon 3 upon 3 Take the LCM here, 3 plus 1, this is going to be 4 upon 3. This 3 and 3 got cancelled. We get, let me solve this side. So, we get here, I am taking over here. So, you get 2 root 3 upon 4. 2 1s are 2 and 2 2s are 4. So, we got root 3 by 2. So, thus we get sin 2a is equal to 2 sin a cos a. All we got as uh, root 3 by 2 is equal to 2 tan a upon 1 plus tan square a. All are equal because each one we got it as root 3 by 2. Got it? For the second question, I am going to start from here now. For the second question, you have cos 2a. So, cos of 2a that is cos, cos of 2 times 30 which is cos 60. And cos 60 is equal to half. Let us take the second part of this uh, second equation. So, we have cos square A minus sin square A. So, cos A is 30. So, it get cos square 30 minus sin square 30. So, cos 30 is root 3 by 2 and then the square of that. Minus sin 30 is half and square of that. So, which is root 3 by 2 the square is 3 by 4 minus 1 by 2 square is 1 by 4 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4 3 minus 1 is uh, 3 minus 1 is 2 2 by 4 is going to be half so we did with the two parts let us do the third part of this which is 1 minus tan square a upon 1 plus tan square a so which is equal to 1 minus tan square 30 upon 1 plus tan square 30. So, this is tan 30 is 1 upon root 3. So, 1 upon root 3 square of that upon 1 plus 1 upon root 3 and then the square of this. So, which is 1 minus 1 by 3 upon 1 plus 1 by 3. So, 3 1s are 3 plus 1, 3 minus 1. We get numerator, we are getting 2 by 3. Denominator 3 plus 3 1s are 3 plus 1, 4 by 3. So, this is how we got here 2 by 4 and which is equal to half. So, thus we have proved with the second part also. All the three are 
half half and half the third question we just have two parts so we just can take lhs and rhs so lhs of this question is 2 cos square a so 2 cos square 30 minus 1 so which we get it as 2 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 so root 3 by 2 square of this minus 1 which is equal to 2 times 3 by 4 minus 1 2 1s are 2 twos are so this is 3 upon 2 minus 1 take lcm 2 if the denominator is 2 this is going to be 3 minus 2 so which is 3 minus 2 is 1 so 1 by 2 let us start the rhs of this question so rhs we have 1 minus 2 sin square a 1 minus 2 sin square 30 sin 30 is half so 1 minus 2 into then half and then the square of this which is 1 minus 2 into 1 by 4 2 ones are and 2 twos are so 1 minus half is half so thus we got lhs is equal to rhs and then we are done with the third we have sin 3a so let us take the lhs so lhs is equal to sin 3a that is sin 3 times 30 so sin 3 times 30 is sin 90 and sin 90 is equal to 1 so now let us start with the rhs so rhs of this question is 3 sin a so that is 3 times sin 30 3 times sin 30 minus 4 sin cube a so 4 times sin sin cube 30 so let us put the values now now sin 30 is half so 3 into 1 by 2 minus 4 sin cube 30 that is 1 upon 2 and then the cube of this so which is 3 by 2 minus uh, 1 upon 2 cube is 1 by 8 so it is 4 by 8 so 4 ones are 4 twos are so this is 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 so which is equal to 2 upon 2 and that is equal to 1 so thus we get thus we get lhs is equal to rhs and we are done with the fourth part also if a is equal to b is equal to 45 show that sin a minus b is equal to sin a cos b minus cos a sin b so we start with the first one let us take lhs of this so sin a minus b that is sin of 45 minus 45 so sin 45 minus 45 that is sin 0 and sin 0 is equal to 0. Let us take the RHS of this question. So which is sin A cos B that is sin 45 into cos 45 minus cos A sin B that is again cos 45 into sin 45 since A and B are equal. So we have this is 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2. The value of sin 45 and cos 45 same minus 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 so which is 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 2 which is 0 so thus we get lhs is equal to rhs and we are done with the first part so for the second part let us start with the second part over here okay for the second part we have cos a plus b so cos of 45 plus 45 so which is cos 90 is the lhs we have taken for the second one and cos 90 is equal to 0 so we got cos 90 is equal to 0 so let us take rhs of the second part which is uh, cos a cos b that is cos of 45 minus which we have already solved now just now so cos 45 into cos 45 cos a cos b the value is going to be same minus sin 45 into sin 45 so which is again going to be 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 minus 1 upon root 2 into 1 upon root 2 so which is again equal to 0 so thus we get lhs is equal to rhs so we are done with question number 3 last one a is equal to 30 show that sin 3a is equal to this so first take lhs we are doing the first one which is sin 3a which is sin uh, which is sin 3 times 30 which is sin 90 
sin 90 is equal to 1. Let us start with the RHS of this which is 4 sin A, that is 4 into sin 30 uh, into sin 60 minus A, that is 60 minus 30 into sin 60 plus A, that is 60 plus 30. So, which we get as 4. Sin 30 is going to be half and this is sin 60 minus 30 is sin 30 again and 60 plus 30 is sin 90. So, we put the values there, sin 90. So, 2 1s are 2 2s are, this is 2. Sin 30 is again half, sin 90 is again 1. So, which we get as 1. So, thus we get LHS is equal to RHS and we are done with question number 1. Let's start with the second one. So, let us take the LHS of the second part. So, we have sin A minus cos A and then the square of this. So, sin A, that is sin 30 minus cos 30 and then the square of this. So, sin 30 is 1 upon 2, cos 30 is root 3 by 2 and the square of this. So, 1 by 2 minus uh, root 3 by 2, this is going to be 1, this is going to be 1 minus root 3 upon 2 and the square of this. So, the numerator we have 1 minus root 3 the whole square a minus b the whole square is a square minus 2ab that is 2 root 3 plus b square that is root 3 square is 3 upon 2 square which is 4. So, which is equal to 1 plus 3 that is 4 minus 2 root 3 upon 4. Let us take 2 common from here. So, taken 2 common we are left with 2 minus root 3 upon 4. So, which we get at 2 1s are 2 2s are. So, our answer is 2 minus root 3 by 2. So, this is our LHS. Start with the RHS of this part, which is 1 minus sin 2a, 1 minus 2 sin 2a. Let us start with RHS. Uh, space is less. So, RHS is 1 minus sin 2a, that is sin 2 times 30. So, which is 1 minus sin 60. Sin 60 is root 3 by 2, 1 minus root 3 by 2, which is when I take LCM, I am getting uh, 2 minus root 3 by 2 and thus we get LHS is equal to RHS. But cos 2A is equal to cos raised to 4A minus sin raised to 4A. So, let us take the LHS of the third part here. So, LHS is equal to cos 2A that is cos 2 times 30 which is cos 60 and that is equal to half. Let us take the RHS of this equation, which is cos raised to 4a, that is cos 4 raised to 430 minus sin raised to 430. So, sin raised to 430. So, put the values cos 30 is root 3 by 2 and to the power 4. Minus sin 30 is half and half to the power 4. Now, root 3 to the power 4 is root 3 times root 3 to the power 4. Root 3 ka square is 3 and root 3 ka square is again 3. So, 3 times 3, this is going to be 9. So, numerator of this is 9 and 2 to the power 4 is 16 minus 1 upon 2 to the power is 16. So, 1 by 16. 9 minus 1, it is 8 upon 16 and which is equal to half. So, thus we get LHS is equal to RHS. Part of this, so let us take LHS. So, LHS is 1 minus cos 2a, cos 2a 2 times 30 upon sin 2a, that is sin 2 times 30. 1, this is numerator, you get 1 minus 2 times 30 is 60. So, 1 minus cos 60. Denominator, we have sin 60. Now, 2 times 30 is 60. Cos 60 is half. So, 1 minus 1 by 2 upon sin 60 is root 3 by 2. So, numerator 1 minus half is half. So, this is 1 by 2 upon root 3 by 2. So, this 2 and 2 got cancelled. We got 1 upon root 3. Now, let us take the RHS of this and RHS is tan, tan A. So, RHS is tan A, tan A which is tan 30 and tan 30 is equal to 1 upon root 3. So, this is how we get LHS is equal to RHS. So, one of this. 
so 1 plus sin 2a plus cos a so let us start with the fifth let us take lhs over here so lhs we have 1 plus sin 2a so 1 plus sin 2 times sin 2 times 30 plus cos 2a that is plus cos 2 times 30 upon sin a plus cos a that is sin 30 plus cos 30 let us put the values 1 plus 2 times 30 is 60 and sin 60 is going to be okay let me write one more time sin 60 plus cos 60 upon sin 30 plus cos 30 let us write it one more time again Okay, now let us put the values. So, 1 plus sin 60 is root 3 by 2. Cos 60 is half, plus half plus 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 half. Upon sin 30 is half and cos 30 is root 3 by 2. Simplify this. Uh, take the LCM in the numerator. 1 plus. So, in the numerator we get uh, 2 plus 1, 3. If I add, this is 2 1 the 2, 2 plus 1, 3. We get 3 plus root 3 upon 2. Denominator, we have 1 plus root 3 upon 2. This 2 and 2 got cancelled. So, we have 3 plus root 3 upon 1 plus root 3. So, this can be written as 3 plus root 3 upon root 3 plus 1 because we need to rationalize the denominator. So, multiplying by root 3, uh, minus 1 upon root 3 minus 1. Put the brackets over here. Let us simplify this further. So, when we multiply the numerators here, 3 times root 3 is 3 root 3. 3 times 1 is minus 1 is minus 3. Root 3 into root 3 is plus 3. And 3 into root 3 is minus root 3. Upon denominator, we have uh, a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. Root 3 square is 3 and 1 square is 1. So, with 3 minus 1. Numerator, now you have this minus 3 plus 3 got cancelled. 3 root 3 minus root 3 is 2 root 3 upon 2. This 3 minus 1 is 2. This 2 and 2 got cancelled. We got the simplification of LHS as root 3. Our RHS is, our RHS is 2 cos A. So, let us take for fifth one ka RHS over here. So, RHS is 2 cos A. That is 2 into cos of 30. Cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So, 2 into root 3 by 2. So, which 2 get cancelled? We got root 3. So, this is how you get both the values as root 3. So, thus LHS is equal to RHS. LHS is equal to RHS. We are done with the sixth part. Let us take LHS. So, LHS is 4 cos A, 4 cos A, that is cos 30 into cos 60 minus A. So, cos 60 minus 30 into cos 60 plus A. So, cos of 60 plus 30 and uh, yeah, let us simplify this. 4 cos 30 is again uh, root 3 by 2 into 60 minus 30 is again 30. So, this is also going to be root 3 by 2. Cos 30 is going to be root 3 by 2. Into cos 60 plus 30 is cos 90 and cos 90 is equal to 0. Cos 90 is equal to 0. So, this is how this you get as 0. Let us take the RHS of this equation which is cos 3a. So, we have cos 3a which is cos of 3 times 30 which is cos of 90 and that is equal to 0. Thus, we get LHS is equal to RHS. We are done with the fifth one. Six. Let's start with the last part of this question. So, let us take LHS. So, cos cube A that is uh, cos of cos cube 30 minus cos of 3A. So, 3 times 30 is 90. So, we get cos 90. Upon cos A, so cos A is going to be cos 30 plus sin cube A, sin A is sin 30. So, sin cube 30 plus sin 3A, that is 3 times 30 is sin 90. So, this is sin 90 upon sin 30. So, let us put the values here. Cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So, root 3 by 2, the cube of this minus cos 90 and cos 90 is 0. Upon cos 30 is again root 3 by 2. 
plus sin cube 30. So 1 by 2 and then the cube of this. And sin 90 is 1. And denominator we have sin 30 which is again 1 by 2. So root 3 cube it's root 3 times root 3 times root 3. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. So this is 3 root 3 and 2 cube is 8. So we have 3 root 3 upon 8 upon root 3 by 2 plus this is 1 upon 8 plus 1 upon 1 by 2. So let us simplify this part here root 3 and root 3 will get cancelled 2 1 za and 2 4 za. So here we are left with 3 by 4 for this part. Now here take LCM 8 uh, 1 za 8 so this is plus uh, 8 plus 1 9 upon 8 upon 1 by 2 again 2 1 za 2 4 za. So this is how we get this as 3 by 4 plus 9 by 4. 3 plus 9 is 12 upon 4 and which is equal to 3 and that is our RHS. RHS is 3. So hence proved we have done with each and every question of this exercise. Coming up with the next exercise. If you like the video please share with your friends and if you are new to the channel please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.